they don't get the most obvious thing about Dunedin and Otago, that it's a knowledge centre. It's it was tub-thumping political rhetoric at the municipal chambers today as Labour faithful turned up during a visit by Labour's shadow cabinet. Winston Peters was in town on the weekend and the Conservative Party arrives tomorrow, but today was Labour's as ministers met stakeholders, iwi and party members before meeting to discuss policy. And with the September elections in everyone's thoughts, leader David Cunliffe was there with something new. We're taking the opportunity to make a very important nationwide announcement uh, that Labor will uh, fund a national rollout of bowel cancer screening nationwide beginning uh, with an extension of the current Waitamata pilot uh, to Otago, Southland and Waikato. The policy would help make a dent in figures that show 3,000 New Zealanders develop the cancer each year and about 1,200 each year die. It's about four or five times the road toll and we believe on good evidence that a lot of those deaths are preventable. Both Otago, Southland and the Waikato have a high incidence of the disease and screening would be provided for those between 50 and 64 years old at first. But while the $14 million a year idea is bound to be popular in the South, voters will have to wait to find out where the money comes from. Uh, we can't give you the precise numbers until after we've seen the government's budget and economic fiscal update because they've got the access to the numbers which we currently don't. So the sooner they put that in the public domain, the sooner we can put it through our spreadsheet models. Cun refused a gathering of party faithful to take a swipe at the government's infamous decisions, claiming National had forgotten Dunedin. And with elections not till September, residents might have to get used to the sight of political leaders announcing policy and taking pot shots at one another as they vie for the nation's top job. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.